Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Get Geomatics Engineering. In this channel, we learn and explore geomatics engineering related content. If you are new to this channel, then please go through our previous video lectures and share your valuable feedback in the comment section so that we can improve our content more. So let's start with today's video lecture that is geometric error and their correction mechanism. So first try to understand what is geometric error or distortion. Once you have an image, there is some geometric distortion present or exist. Now, why do we say that geometric error or distortion is exist? Because we are representing a 3D surface in a 2D plane. At the same time, what will happen? Certain issues that will come up related to sensors perspective and another factors like camera motion, platform motion, altitudinal interference and so on. So all are these factors come into play and we have some geometric distortion in our image. These distortions are inherent in images as we attempt to represent 3D earth surface as a 2D image. So it is usually necessary to pre-process remotely sensed data and remove geometric distortions so that individual pixel elements that is what we call pixels are in their proper planimetric XY coordinate of a map locations. Now how distortion appears in an image? The first one is scale changes over the image which means in the center the scale should is perfect there is no issue but when we go towards the outward direction the scale is changes and distorted. The second one is displacement of object in an image that means relief displacement. You will learn about it in remote sensing lecture but I will tell you a little bit about what is relief displacement. Okay, So relief displacement is a radial distance between where an object appears in an image to where it actually should be according to a planimetric coordinate systems. Which means if a relief displacement means an object is appear here in an image but it is not its actual position on the planimetric xy coordinate it is somewhere here so this, this distance is what we call relief displacement the images of ground position are shifted or displaced due to terrain relief the third point is occlusion or overriding of one image element by another image okay Next is what do this distortion prevent? If there is any geometric distortion present in an image, then they can't we can't means we can't comparison or overlay multiple images. They will not allow you to merge with map layer and you can't do mosaicing of image. This geometrically corrected imagery can be used to extract accurate distance polygon area and direction information so it is very important to geometrically correct the image then we will use for further process there are different sources of geometric error or distortion remotely sensed imagery typically exhibits internal and external geometric errors it is important to recognize the source of the internal and external error and it is also important to identify whether it is systematic that is predictable or non-systematic that is random. So we will see both of them one by one. So let's start first with internal geometric error. It is systematic keep in mind and predictable. Okay. The internal geometric error are introduced by the remote sensing system itself or in a combination with earth rotation or curvature characteristics. These distortions are often systematic that is predictable and may be identified and corrected using the information about the geometric characteristics of the sensor system and the information about the earth rotation at the time of the data acquisition. So these are some internal geometric distortion present in an imagery that can be corrected through analysis of sensor characteristics and ephemeris data which include scan skew distortion which caused by earth curvature and rotation effect scanning system induced variation in ground resolution cell size scanning system tangential scale distortion and platform velocity variation 
I will explain one by one in my next slides. So let's start with scan skew distortion which caused by earth curvature and rotation effect. Earth observing sun synchronous satellites are normally in fixed orbit. They are just uh, re revolving in their own fixed orbit. Okay. And they collect a path or we can say swath of imagery as the satellite makes its way from north to south. This is our north to south in a descending order. Okay. Meanwhile, what happened? The earth below rotates on its axis from west to east. This is my west, this is my east, and the earth is rotating from west to east. Okay, and making one complete revolution every 24 hours. So, this interaction between the fixed orbital path of the remote sensing system and the earth rotation on its axis is called scan skew distortion. So, basically, I have an image hona tha, kuch aisa and i am getting the image like this why because my earth is rotating from west to east these are null value i am getting in my imagery so we need to fix it next is scanning system induced variation in ground resolution cell size so basically orbital multispectral scanning system scans through just a few degrees of nadir as it collects data hundreds of kilometers above the earth surface. Let's say example Landsat 7 data are collected at 705 km above the ground level. This configuration minimizes the amount of distortion introduced by the scanning system. But problem comes when suborbital multispectral scanning system may be operating just 10 km above the ground level with a scan field of view of 70 degree. This introduces numerous types of geometric distortion that can be difficult to correct. So basically, what happens is when my satellite is in orbit, then the height is 705 km above the ground level. At that time, this field of view is very rare, very small. The area that I have to capture is very easily captured. And the pixels are not distorted. Okay. But in case of sub-orbital multispectral scanning system, this field of view is very rare. The area that I have to capture is very easily captured. Okay. But in case of sub-orbital multispectral scanning system, this field of view is very rare. Okay. But in case of sub-orbital multispectral scanning system, this field of view is तो ये जो नादिर पे जो मेरे पिक्सेल्स होते हैं, दिस पिक्सेल्स आर ओके, देर इज़ नो प्रॉब्लम। बट जैसे-जैसे हम साइड की तरफ जाते हैं, फील्ड ऑफ़ व्यू के एंड की तरफ जाते हैं, तो यहाँ का जो पिक्सेल होता है, वो सारा क्या होता है? डिस्टॉर्टेड हो जाता है, जिसकी वजह से क्या होता है? हमारा वेरिएशन this is similar to the previous case, but in the previous case, the main factor was the height, but in this case, the main factor was, uh, the main factor is mirror. So basically, the mirror on an across track scanning system rotates at a constant speed and typically views from 70 degree to 120 degree field of view to complete a line scan. Okay. Of course, this amount, it means this range 70 to 120 basically depends on, upon a specific sensor system. So the terrain directly beneath the aircraft, which is at Nadir, is closer to the aircraft than the terrain at the edges. Means, the terrain, hai, which there is a terrain at Nadir, it is closer. This distance, you can see, this distance is closer than this distance. So, the object will be this distance, pe rahega, Nadir view. Pe वो एक्यूरेट रहेगा एक्यूरेट शेप में रहेगा एक्यूरेट प्रोजेक्शन में रहेगा एक्यूरेट पोजीशन पे रहेगा बट जो जो टेरेन या फिर कुछ भी फीचर्स आप कह लो अगर जो एज पे है उसका तो वो क्या होगा वो डिस्टॉर्ट हो जाएगा वो एक्यूरेट नहीं होगा तो इसे ही कहते हैं स्कैनिंग सिस्टम टेंजेंशियल स्केल डिस्टॉर्शन दिस इज जस्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ द मिरर स्कैनिंग मिरर सो द लास्ट वन इज प्लेटफार्म वेलोसिटी वेरिएशन वी ऑल नो the platform is installed in an aircraft and the aircraft is moving 
uh, in order to scan the ground surface so because of the variation in the uh, platform in the aircraft we get some error in my scanning imagery so basically yaha pe bhi case kya hoti hai aircraft ke just niche jo mere paas path hota hai jahan pe scan karna hota hai to लेट सपोज यहाँ पे अच्छे से उसने स्कैन किया यहाँ पे क्या किया उसने ड्यू टू सम रीजन और ड्यू टू सम वेरिएशन इन देयर वेलोसिटी उसने स्कैन किया स्पीड थोड़ा सा बढ़ गया एयरक्राफ्ट का तो क्या हुआ ये स्कैन रॉन्ग हो गया वो यहां से लेकर यहां दिस बात उसने स्कैन कर लिया और ये जो है वो हो गया नल जीरो जीरो मीन्स जीरो डीएन वैल्यूज सो दिस इज द एरर विच विल हैपन ड्यू टू ड्यू टू दी विलोसिटी वेरिएशन ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट नेक्स्ट वी मूव टू एक्सटर्नल ज्योमेट्रिक एरर इट इज नॉन सिस्टमैटिक कीप इन माइंड अगेन and random so the external geometric errors are usually introduced by phenomena that vary in nature through space and time the most important external variable that can cause geometric error is a random movement by the aircraft at the time of data collection it involves altitude change and attitude change means height variation and roll pitch and yaw you will see uh, both of them in next slides so let's start with altitude changes remote sensing system flown at a constant altitude above the ground level which results in imagery with a uniform scale all along the flight line for example a camera with a 12 inch focal length lens flown at 20000 feet above the ground level will yield at 1 is to 20000 scale imagery if the aircraft gradually changes its altitude along the flight line then the scale of the imagery will change increasing in altitude will results in a smaller scale imagery means if the if the altitude increases which results in a small scale map that means 1 is to 25000 and if the altitude decreases which results in large scale map which means 1 is to 15000 map so the same relations holds true for digital remote sensing system collecting imagery on a pixel by pixel basis so this is altitude changes next we move to attitude changes that is pitch roll and yaw so in satellite platform there are usually stable because they are not affected by atmospheric turbulence or wind but suborbital aircraft was affected by atmospheric updraft downdraft headwind tailwinds and crosswinds when they are collecting remote sensing data even when the remote sensing platform maintains a constant altitude above the ground level it may rotate randomly about three separate axes that are commonly referred to as roll pitch and yaw so roll occurs when the aircraft or spacecraft fuselage maintains directionality stability but the wings move up or down that is they rotate about the x axis angle that means if this is the aircraft this fuselage is stable but this wings are moving up and down so if this is up and this is down so what we will get the upside is expansion means the features are expanded and the downside which is compression means the feature are compressed similarly 
पिच ऑकर्स वेन द विंग्स आर स्टेबल बट द फ्यूजलेज नोस और टेल मूव अप और डाउन दैट मीन्स इन दिस केस दिस विंग्स इज स्टेबल बट दिस फ्यूजलेज नोज is not stable it is moving up or down so because of that what will happen if this portion is down then the this part is compression and this part is part is expansion and in the last case yo it is occurs when the wings remain parallel but the fuselage is forced by the wind to be oriented some angle to the left or right of the intended line of sight flight because of the movement of the uh, wind so it rotates about the z axis that means if this is my flight if the air is moving from this side to this side so my flight will rotate in this direction so we we are getting this kind of error in our image so we need to fix all these problems in order to process the data